So before I graph a polynomial, I recognize that class is this factored. No. No, so I want to teach you guys some hints as these numbers start getting bigger, which they will. The first thing is I want them in descending order, and I'm going to look at the highest degree. The highest degree is 4. Class, what's half of 4? Two. 2. Okay, that tells me that I can factor this to be binomials. Let me say that again. If you take your highest degree and you take the next one, if it's half of it, then you can get binomials. If this was a 3, half of 3 is 1 and a half, and you can't factor that. Now, star or condition is always find the greatest common factor. There is no greatest common factor in this problem. All right, so now we're factoring a problem that has a higher degree. And I'm going to show you guys uh, by substitution. Okay? This is a skill that you'll use in uh, calculus. Sometimes problems get kind of more difficult for you. So I'm going to use my favorite letter, y. And we'll come back to this y. So I'm going to write this as this, x squared to the second power. Do you see that? Does that still equal x to the fourth? Yeah. 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 So then I'm going to write 10 times, in parentheses, x squared plus 25. You're not used to factoring a problem with the fourth power. Well, what do you do? I can make y equal to x squared. Y is equal to x squared. So basically what right here I'm going to do is a substitution. Every time I see y, I'm, every time I see x squared, I'm going to write y. Let's rewrite this together, class. What do I get? Y plus 10y plus 25. Is that something you can do now? Yeah, that feels a little more comfortable. So if you just factor that, you're going to recognize you're going to get y plus 5, y plus 5. You guys see that? And then we're going to put it back in there. y is equal to x squared plus 5 x squared plus 5. And because we're doing this with a graph, I don't want to really spend us our time doing the graph, you have two identical ones. You can just write that together, which means your multiplicity is two of them. Okay, so for this problem, I just wanted to, for us to practice um, factoring a higher degree. 